Greetings and welcome to Evan's fasting vlog. It is day three of a 10 day water only fast and I'm having a great day and I feel really great and I'm grateful to be able to share it with you. So, uh, let's see. First of all, I want to just cover why I'm fasting. You know, this is a question that I get a lot. Why are you fasting? Why are you, are you starving yourself? But I covered in yesterday's video, I'm not starving myself. I'm intentionally choosing to fast. Uh, I'm going to cover that really quickly one more time. In the book about fasting, it says that the difference between fasting and starving is that fasting is by choice and starving is when you don't have access to food. Uh, however, in a Dr. Clapper video that I watched here, I learned that his definition is that Starvation is when you're burning muscle tissue, and fasting is when you're burning ketones, uh, which has more to do with fat than muscle. So let's, uh, let's get that straight for, for starters. And then why am I fasting? Well, I've done a lot of uh, my own research, not scientific research, not double blind studies, but just my own research, looking through different videos and reading different books and watching documentaries about fasting and the science of fasting and fasting and different types of fasting and reading the books on fasting, watching many of the lectures of people who do the fasting. I've also watched many of the lectures about why not to fast and, and videos about why fasting is dangerous and why it doesn't work and all that because I do like to get both sides of things. and. Um, what I've come to realize, I think the people on, the, fa on the, the pro fasting side are the ones who are getting it right. They make the most sense to me. They seem the most well-founded. The ones on the opposite side seem influenced by the standard American medical industry, which of course is funded by industry, food industry. Literally, you realize that, right? That they get information, they teach in medical schools from people who want to sell us bad food and pharmaceuticals and medical procedures. So I'm going to go with the people who don't stand to profit from that at all. And they also make a ton of more, they make a ton more sense. So I attended a lecture today with Dr. Alan Goldhammer, who is the founder of True North Health Center. He gave a really wonderful, uh, funny, engaging, compelling lecture about the 10 most necessary things to do to avoid premature death and being very sick while you are alive. And I, I found it fascinating and he has given me permission to upload that to our YouTube channel. So you will have access to Dr. Goldhammer's lecture very soon. It's got another couple hours in its upload. <laughs> so there's that and how about why am I fasting? Well, one of the main, I, I've, I've, I've been pursuing a pretty darn healthy diet and lifestyle for a while now. And it was seeing the movie Plant Pure Nation that inspired my pursuing a plant-based diet. And yet, although I'm not perfect in that diet, I still, I eat a majority of the time plant-based and good healthy stuff. But um, I've still, felt ugh, kind of not great, kind of bloated and, and just not great. I, I wake up early in the morning and don't feel great. So I wanted to do something about that. And I believe it's very likely something to do with the gut biome. I did have a physician tell me that I could likely have a candida overbloom. Many of the symptoms are consistent with that. And we have done the test for candida here in my, my testing that I've had done, but it's not back yet, so I don't know the results of that. So we'll get that in a future vlog entry. But I came here to reset the gut biome. Um, there are a couple things that I had done in the past. I had been sick with parasites. I had been sick with a, a mold. Uh, you know, I ate, like, I'm sure it was just moldy bread, and it made me very, very sick in Mongolia. I uh, got the bread in Uzbekistan though, but in Mongolia I was just miserable. And so um, there could be something left over from that, although that was four years ago, four and a half now. 
Um, so it could be any of these things that's caused the, the gut biome to go out of whack. I was on antibiotics uh, one time and an antifungal another time, so I depleted a lot of the, the good healthy gut biome, so maybe some of the bad guys took over. I don't know, but just feeling not great a lot. I wanna do something to fix that. I wanna feel great, and I feel I'm on the path to feeling great now. So that was one of the big things um, uh, that caused many of my symptoms. Another thing is I've had a diagnosed arthritis in my right hip for a few years now, and uh, I understand that fasting can work wonders with arthritis. Uh, so there's that. And then the last thing for the main issues that I'm seeking to resolve with fasting is that I have been diagnosed by three different people, uh, healers, uh, with a condition, uh, something going on in my right lung. Now, I went to the traditional doctor, he listened with a stethoscope, he sent me for a chest x-ray, which came back negative, and his response was, well, smoke it if you got it. Uh, I'm gonna take the advice of the other couple who said, Evan, you gotta give up smoking weed. You, you just gotta give up, there's something going on there and you're only making it worse. So, ah, uh, I did make a video about my last bong hit ever. Uh, you can see that uh, around on my channels. But um, I did give up smoking grass uh, back in July. So I'm really trying to help my lungs to clear out and heal. I am not really coughing up the black stuff like I was. That's encouraging. And uh, I wanna do the fasting to give my body this 10 day opportunity to really focus on healing because it's not so focused on digestion. That's one of the biggest reasons people fast is because when we keep eating all the time, our body is busy digesting and it doesn't have the time, energy, and wherewithal to be focused on cleansing, detoxification, and healing. And those are the three big bang for the buck on just not eating, drinking only water. So, and I'm drinking plenty of water. And the other thing is I'm staying quite sedentary. I'm just very chill here at the True North Health Center. And uh, that is one of the big components of a good, effective, water-only fast is that we stay quite sedentary so we're not burning energy doing the other things. We can allow our body to use that energy towards, again, cleansing, detoxification, and healing. So that's my focus now, and I'm sticking to it. So I'm on day three of 10. Feels great. Uh, I, uh, a lot of people want to know about weight loss and everything. I have always, I'm sure, been perceived as a, as a pretty skinny, fit, healthy guy. In fact, people are always surprised. Evan, you, I thought you are so healthy. You eat a lot of plant-based and all that. Well, yes and no. <laughs> I have lived a very high lifestyle uh, and uh, eaten many of the very rich foods in many countries. I cooked very rich foods myself. I want to you know, come clean and just fully express that when before I started pursuing plant-based eating, which is only in 2016 now, uh, I was buying a pound and a half of bacon a week at our local market, uh, in our refrigerator at any given time, you would always find milk, half and half, heavy whipping cream, at least three or four different kinds of cheeses. Um, you would find butter and lots of it. And uh, you always find ice cream in the freezer, just all that stuff. There's so many different forms of dairy, it, it, it's crazy. So um, it just seeps into so many things and you pour the cereal, milk on your cereal, you pour the cream in your coffee, you eat the cheese on your omelet and then you have cheese on your sandwich at lunch and it, it just goes on and on and it adds up. And um, our bodies just have to work really hard to deal with all that dairy and all the bacteria that's in the, oh, we won't even go there. So um, I've always been perceived of as healthy and fit and definitely skinny. Uh, although I, uh, I've actually lost eight pounds since coming here. I lost 20 pounds in the last couple years of my life eating plant-based a lot more. And so I guess I was a little overweight, although I look very skinny. There's a term called, uh, uh, an acronym, SOTOFOTI, skinny on the outside, fat on the inside. It's where our organs get caked with fat and yet we look completely fine and, and fit and skinny. So I had long, I had already been down 20 pounds from my norm throughout much of my adult life. And then I've lost another eight pounds since I've been here. Uh, I'm only on day three of the water only fast, but we've been here uh, for about six days now, almost going on a week.
So uh, I also learned about BMI, body mass index, and that was my doctor, Dr. Strucker, uh, talked about that and said, well, your BMI is fine, so no worries if you lose some weight while you're fasting. Ah, okay, so I looked that up, body mass index, there are all kinds of body mass index calculators on the internet, so I went into one of those and I typed in my height and weight, and lo and behold, I got a um, BMI of, of over 20, 20 and a half. <clears throat> So I have, I have room to drop. So if I drop another 15 pounds, I'm still in a totally reasonable range. He said, if your BMI goes to 16, 18, you're still totally fine. It's not an indicator of bad health. So that's all good news. Uh, it's, it's all good news in here, I must say, for sure. And uh, I will say this as well, while I'm touting all the goodness and how amazing and awesome and fun this is and how social it is and how much I'm learning and thriving and all that, that uh, I think about food almost constantly. Every 10 minutes, something comes into my head and it's all kinds of stuff. It's either favorite old restaurants or grilled joints or a specific food item. Uh, it's, it's powerful. Now, I'm not tempted to do anything, uh, you know, cheat or eat anything. Uh, absolutely not. I feel super, super committed. But the thoughts just keep popping into my head. And in addition to that, the dreams have been crazy and they've been nightmares. <laughs> Last night I had another nightmare that I was at the airport and we were coming out of some kind of conference and we had a bag of, of leftover unclaimed um, giveaway, goodie bags, parting gifts. And there were these jars of jelly beans and there were, I found a jar in there of almost all pink jelly beans and that's always been my favorite jelly bean from uh, childhood, the pink jelly bean. And I ate a whole jar of them. And then I ate a few jelly beans from another jar. And then I remembered, oh my God, I'm fasting. What am I doing? Oh shoot, I blew it. <laughs> Crazy dream, but that wasn't the end. Then I realized I, I just totally spaced my backpack with my computer in it, like on the plane or something. And I go back to the gate and that plane was already gone. Another plane was there. And oh boy, it was, it was, it was freaky. In these nightmares, I'm always either losing something or striving to get something and I can't get it. So that's when I woke up, I was looking for my backpack. And, uh, another dream I had the night before, I had snuck off the property and gone to a local amusement park and had a little bit of candy there. I, I tried to be really careful, I only had like, it was like bit of honey size and I only had two. So I was kind of grateful I didn't make it worse than that. But when I was going back into the parking lot to my car, I was just dragging, I could literally barely walk. And then I, I went to the wrong floor and I walked all the way across. I couldn't find my car, it was, it was tragic. Anyway, so I've been dreaming about food like crazy. I've been thinking about food like crazy. And um, that's how it is when you're not eating. But I'm not tempted to eat. I'm literally not hungry. I feel fine. I feel just fine. I'm not super high energy. I'm, I'm kind of excited making this video. But I am uh, I'm feeling fine. And uh, my energy is okay. So um, one great thing that has happened. So I talked about gut biome and possible candida. And one of the symptoms that I have for that is the, um, that I've had acne and I've had it for so much of my life. And I've been a sugar holic and food addict for most of my life. And that feeds candida and candida comes out in many different ways. It's a fungus, a yeast. And one thing it can do is produce acne. And I mentioned in my very first fasting vlog video that uh, I was like a poster child for Stridex and I use OxyWash benzoyl peroxide. I'm not promoting any of those products, but I will admit that they do work. And I quit them before I came in here. And I was concerned, okay, well, I wasn't concerned, I didn't even care. I was just accepting the fact that I'll probably break out because I've quit my, my over-the-counter skin medications. And uh, I'm here to report, uh, you can see, face looks fine. So I did quit my, all of those uh, facial skin medication treatments and I've not had a breakout yet, uh, but I've just switched over a little bit. I'm just using a, a good old fashioned bar, a Dr. Bronner's clean soap, unscented. And I just wash my face with that in the morning and then once in the middle of the day and then in the evening. And I've been fine, I haven't broken out. And so that is great news. Here is the even better news. I have been having sores inside my nose and they can be so painful. You touch my nose and ow, they are all gone. I'm so excited and pleased to report that now that I, I was 
finally right. I finally figured it out that what am I doing that's causing these sores on my nose? It was the, the, the strong benzoyl peroxide soap and or the salicylic acid pads of the Stridex that were doing it. So, uh, and I know that because I quit them and they've gone away. So I know I'm rid of those and they won't come back. I'm so happy. Uh, so the other thing is when you're fasting, they recommend you don't shower. When you're, when you're, you know, energy levels are low and you're not feeding any energy producing food into the body, uh, there is concern that you could have lightheadedness, especially upon standing, and that when you take a shower and you get the, the hot water on your skin all over, that can cause a drop in blood pressure. You can get lightheaded and fall over. So it's recommended that we don't shower. So um, I snuck one in today. But I've been, uh, I've been just doing the old French bath with the washcloth and, um, uh, and of course, as I mentioned, washing my face three times a day anyway. So... Hmm. What else can I say? It was an amazing lecture with Dr. Goldhammer today, but you can watch that whole thing. He is so convincing, so compelling. I committed to making a significant donation to the True North Health Foundation here. They're doing incredible work. This man is in it from the heart for life, and he is absolutely one of my heroes, devoting his life towards helping people get healthy in a massive way and in a new way. And they do... Um, research papers that they publish here, uh, some that have been in pretty prestigious journals, and it's, uh, he's such, such a hero. And I'm so grateful for Dr. Goldhammer and his team and all they're doing here to help people really, truly get healthy. I make that distinction between vegan and healthy. <laughs> you know, vegan does not mean healthy. Vegan means you're not consuming any animal products and very likely you're not using any animal products, no leather and, and, and anything like that. And uh, the plant-based, the, the diet here is plant-based, whole food, SOS free, no salt, oil, or sugar. Now they are into healthy eating and healthy living here. There are three components of the healthy lifestyle are that diet, proper, sufficient sleep, and daily 30 to 60 minute exercise. So they do a very um, thorough panel of blood work on you when you come in here and they talk about any deficiencies that you have and I'm working through those and I'm just so grateful to be here and for Dr. Goldhammer and the team and all they've been doing here since 1984. I'm helping to get the word out because this, this is very, very good information that I think people could benefit from greatly. Let's get healthy. Let's take this journey. Let's evolve the way we think, our culture, and be smart and be healthy and live long lives and, and be fully functional through those lives, not sick. There's enough sick people in the world. Let's be the ones who rise above. Much love. Thanks for joining. Day three out of 10 today, and we'll see you for the next one. Go in good health.